what's the progress yeah we are we going to discuss about what's the progress about of a face mash and how is it really going on say uh, since i have really posted the last video right around 6th december and and today is right now 3 december so at almost it's going to be really around one month so and i have really, really posted much of the videos except from the few videos like javascript uh, document db versus dynamo db and one thing was of video was of the aws cell so and to and i really today want to really discuss about uh one thing that why my uh, frequency was slightly kind of getting reduced and especially what are my really other plans uh, as well to really just kind of get through it and what were the challenges that are really kind of tackling right now and and even kind of getting through it right uh, even right now as well so after making this video one thing i really felt uh, i was learning aws so and i really decided to go with it a uh, serverless architecture so i was previously really confused about uh, whether i should go with the instance based approach or a serverless approach so after really just kind of uh, analyzing the pros and cons of it so i really don't know like how many people uh, kind of will join uh, into this server or kind of really use this uh, services that i'm really going to provide uh, through this face mash so it really makes sense for me to really just kind of uh, host my services on the aws lambda as well and uh, and to really complement the database as well so obviously we are when when, when we are uh, selecting the serverless architecture on the aws lambda as well so i decided to go with the dynamo db because the first 25 gb are absolutely free and it's really really like it's super hard to really consume that amount of space even for the first 10000 users because the information that we are really going to collecting is just about their basic information in their json file structure and the per user information will not really exceed more than the 4 or 5 kb at least so uh, it will be decent as well so and the one other step is like the architecture video will soon really come uh, on this channel like after one or two weeks probably because i am still right now working on the aws uh, there are really few concepts which i am even not really uh, fully aware of and which i am still uh, right now learning uh, and how to use the express uh, routes on the lambda as well because uh, it is kind of a tricky thing like uh, i have really mentioned in my previous video about in aws hell like how the aws is just like complicated as hell so in i'm just really kind of uh, learning the ci cd techniques uh, and how can we really just tackle down the problem how can we just really uh, go through it and make our structure easy and also there is a lot of challenge uh, regarding it so and also really like i really need to brush up my merge stack skills like you know it's been so long time that i have not coded anything in the react as well so uh, i need to just really kind of brush my mind uh, so you know any crash course or any refresher of uh, react will be much more enough for me and the thing is actually like you know the most hardest part is to like work in the deployment and to work with the back end side of structure the current problem is as i really mentioned is like to deal with the aws to deal with the what the service is providing you know it's hell lot of thing complicated i even didn't imagine so and i even didn't really struggle that much even for the javascript as well no javascript was like you know so easy it was like it was kind of uh but smooth but this was a you know unnecessarily thing unnecessarily complicated i am rose you know you have to really just kind of give a bunch of execution bunch of a thing you bunch of like freaking thing you just go on watch that video of aws hell and you will know what i what i'm saying that and also one thing that i really noticed uh, about the aws is like you know the pricing structure is what they claim is not what you get billed for now what i mean by that suppose uh, i was just trying to use sns service for sending an sms push sms uh, to really just kind of uh, sending an otp for your uh, on your device while signing up and the problem was like you know 
on their website they were saying that the rate is something else which was super cheap and when i just tried for the practice out there uh, it was really like it was thousands time much more expensive than what it was but luckily i got really waived off of the charges because of the free tier that i'm really using right now and you know and currently i have really reported this problem to the aws but it's been right now currently five or six days i haven't really got the reply back yet but i hope let's let's uh, expect that the i really get a reply soon because aws is kind of really nice and and uh, one thing i really just uh, kind of experienced that the twitter aws support uh, handle like at the rate aws support is really cool enough you if you have any problem just tweet them out there and they will really help you in any case so what i was really telling that uh, there is there are the three essential components uh, when uh, to deal with the serverless architecture so one is the aws lambda the second one is the dynamo db and the third one is s3 so why we are using s3 so as you know that the partition size and the uh, block storage size uh, sorry the item size is really less in the dynamo db so we really need to store our images in the compressed manner uh, in the uh, s3 bucket so so these are the three combinations so apart from these three services we are really going to use uh, probably sns for sms services to really send the sms notification and ses that is simple email services of provided by the amazon aws itself which is really like dirt cheap you know the first like the you know, first several thousands amount of email are totally free uh, i know i exactly don't know what it was i really mentioned down in this part so what i was really saying that there are also really more challenges ahead so for example uh, i really asked a bunch of other uh, experts or professionals out there on linkedin like is there any prominent source to really learn the data modeling uh, and uh, and few of them really said that you know it's a experience based game you can't really just kind of learn directly out there is no any specific standard to really uh, to do a data modeling and to do, do a database because uh, i'm really kind of uh, confused right now to really just kind of uh, go through a hierarchy level uh, data modeling or if there is something uh, any some sort of a suitable way so it is kind of uh, really figuring out to me and especially you know when i really posted this tweet on my twitter handle which is right now pinned even on uh, on my account as well you can see the out i really mentioned that you know i am really expecting it to cover in just three or four months but it is kind of i'm really not really sure whether i would really completed on time or not because uh, there are really complicated things as well so for example to really figure out the core essence and the core structure of it and also to deal with the payment integration system because that would really ensure to really uh, deliver the premium services to the all other students out there and that would really help me to generate some amount of revenue and that i can really sustain all the services that are going on the back end as well but as really time uh, will get passed through it you know we i just want to really kind of uh, go step by step manner to really debunk one problem and to get through it over it you know for the past one month i have been just really uh, been learning the aws ecosystem and been getting well versed with it you know and the probably the most prominent reason of doing so is like uh, i want to get, do i want to do my startup and to really deploy my apps using aws so i'm kind of really ready to work as hard as stuff as i can so uh in the later stage that will be much more easier for me to work and and at that later stage i don't really uh, need to worry about hey what should i really learn what should i really do so it will be like instant in his process and and the especially thing is like so and the coding tutorial uh one thing i mentioned about this this the coding tutorial itself that the coding tutorials are also really gonna coming soon the first stage uh, about the first uh, coding tutorial will be of uh, making multi page ui uh, that will be probably uh, around 7 or 14 jan between that period I, i'll try my best i'll really just inform about what whenever it happen or whenever it not 
so uh, the coding tutorials are really gonna come and the first one is like to make the basic uh, external home page and external introductory page using the react.js and that will be based on the single page application so the experience would be like fluid so you can really enjoy as as what you want and the next thing about what i really want to just kind of show is like you know uh, you might have seen the iceberg example so like subconscious mind and this uns uh, like unconscious and the subconscious mind and you might have seen the example of that iceberg depicting around something like this part of portion is like conscious mind and this part of thing is like subconscious mind similarly in that case if i really want to just tell about how hard it is to really make any uh, application is it is just like uh, you know the the front part what you see on every website whether it's google whether it's facebook whether it's anything anything what you really imagine that is just a tiny fraction part and the surface that you really and the thin layer of water that you see uh, that is just an api and the whole below bunch of surface and the whole bunch of really the depth of it is the back end structure and the best thing that i really find uh, the uh, the picture that depicting is this one i have really uh, seen this example from the dev to site and i have really just uh, kind of got in my mind that i will really show you show up to you guys and so this was it i really want to tell that and bunch of other cool videos are really also going to come and i'll really make sure to really uh, frequently update my videos out there and if i really have to do anything uh, any cool stuff if you have any comments question queries uh, just try down just write it down in the comment below and i'll be happy to get back to you and i really make sure to really uh, be in my own frequent that i really want to post uh, two videos every uh, week as well so i'll really try my best and really uh, be really frequent so and i'm really trying to really cover this aws video really fast as possible so till then stay connected and have a good day and i'll see you next time